record analysis. And that, again, involves the collection of records or obtaining the records, the various types of analysis that we do, including location, um, estimating the location of a handset or calling analysis. Um, I instruct other law enforcement officers and uh, analysts across the state and really across the country in communication record analysis. Um, I believe that's... And what is communication record analysis? Um, communication record analysis is kind of a general term for um, what we can do with the records that are primarily, we're talking about the records that come from communication carriers, like our AT&T, Verizon, cell phone carriers, is primarily what we talk about. We also do get records from forensic analysis of phones. We can add that in. But primarily, again, uh, the carrier records. And from the various types of reports they're able to give us, we can do analysis such as who a, a handset, when I say handset for cell phone, communicates with most frequently. Um, again, estimated locations, approximately where was uh, a handset when a certain call was placed. Um, the uh, calling pattern analysis, who calls who, when, all of those kind of things. Really, there's a variety of analysis that we can do with those records kind of uh, pertaining to whatever the investigation uh, needs. And have you ever testified where you've given an opinion in court in the field of historical communication record analysis? I have, yes. About how many times? Uh, 101. Um, Judge, those are all my questions as to his qualifications in that field of defense as any voir dire. Very well. Mr. Rushman? <laughs> no, Your Honor. Is there any objection to the witness providing an opinion in the field of historic communication analysis. No, Your Honor. Members of the jury, the witness will be permitted to provide you with an opinion in this area of historic communication analysis. You may continue. All right, so we're going to get to your analysis in a minute, but before we do that, I just have to move certain things into evidence, so we're going to go through that. Um, all right, so you told us that in your position at TPD, you often pull